there you go. So that's all of the normal endings of this game. I I assume anyway. Um, and as it turns out, though, there is a new game plus mode. And from what the game said, basically we have to go through the game again, collecting information points, and using the uh, photo frame here, we can unlock side stories. It seems like or sub stories. And apparently, if you unlock them all, at least uh, before I believe day five, then you get a little something extra. And I guess we'll see, you know, what that is. I don't know how you get like 1,700 points though. I feel like you couldn't get that much. I don't know how it's gonna work. I guess we'll see. Anyway, let's uh, see what this one is first. Episode zero. So how is C1976 doing? The simulation is proceeding as planned. You know, that reminds me. Didn't they find her brother's body? Maybe they didn't need him for the experiment anymore, or... Oh, I guess he, caught, cu he got cut up in something. No one's told us anything, though, so I can't say for sure. Well, it's worked out pretty well for us. C1976 had nowhere else to go, so we had a legitimate reason to take her in. How unfortunate for her. But you don't need to feel sorry for the test subjects. Hmm, what's up with this log? Was there an exception in the simulation? But who knows? It's not like I keep tabs on her all the time. Whatever, it's fine. It's only one subject. It's no big deal. More importantly, we need to hurry and do something to try and obstruct the apocalypse, no matter what it takes. However, under no circumstances will we awaken that. Understood. Alright. And just ominous <laughs> but uh you know i mean that's more of what we already know is that we're living in a simulation by the way uh spoilers which not really spoilers at this point is you know i, I imagine i'm putting a, this on youtube it's gonna be like you know the part after we got all the endings unless somehow you skip that part for some reason i don't know why you would you crazy person um but you know but yeah we live in a simulation and yeah she's a test subject i guess that confirms that her brother might have been dead already i guess her brother's already died in the real world and she had nowhere else to go, and that's how she ended up being a test subject. You know, maybe she was an orphan or something. I don't know. I don't know where her parents were, I guess. But um, that's what happened, I guess. You know? I guess. All right. Let's continue summer. Oh, who are you? I've never been here before. What, what even are info points? You know, how do we get info points before we even realize what info points are? Who knows? Okay. Whatever you say. Hmm. That's strange. You're here, but there, where's that girl? You know, you're, you were like harassing for Mechaboo salad or whatever. What the? Oh my god. She has like full like art. <laughs> Mechaboo seaweed! Wakame seaweed. Wakame. Are you talking about Shinji? You know, and not Shinji from Neon Genesis Evangelion. Shinji from Fate Stay Night. You know, I, I feel like I was. <laughs> I just remember when, like, I had. Uh, I still have that video where it's my most popular video on YouTube. I don't know why. It just blew up, I guess, somehow, for some reason. But it's about, like, Shiro punching Shinji in the face. Um, and like One Punch Man, you know, theme plays. Because I, I mentioned that when I played the visual novel about how I wanted to punch Shinji. And, the, and there's that scene where you had the choice to punch Shinji, but you never actually did. So I edited like it from the anime where he punches Shinji actually and explodes, you know. It's like, I don't know, it's funny. That's the idea, that's just a joke. Um, and I always got a lot of comments, you know, where people mistake Shinji as in the Neon Genesis, the Neon Genesis of Egalio Shinji, you know? Instead of like, Wakame Shinji, you know, the Fate Stay Night Fate Shinji. I don't know, I always get that. Alright, what are you, what are you, what do you say? Look at how empty this town is! I don't even have to do anything to destroy the town, the town doesn't offer me! Bahahaha! <laughs> okay, you want to destroy the town. Bahahaha! <laughs> Alright. Here's a quick question for you. Left hand or right hand? Let's choose left this time. Ding ding ding. Here we go. One a Mozoku candy for you. Now you have even more things you'll need in your inventory. Isn't that what gaming's all about? Okay. 
Same thing, okay, same thing happens, you just get like a slightly different reward, which is just a different flavor of candy, that's all. Hello? Uh, oh yeah, are you coming to see the fireworks of us? Oh, was it this weekend? There's this gaming event I was planning to go to. I want to check out that new Eternal Series game. Oh, too bad then. Yes, I better prefer the Mr. Competition too, or Miss Doctor? Uh, Miss Doctor Competition? It's exactly what it sounds like. Is it? Is it? Cafe's closed right now. Or are you wanting to work here? Doesn't seem like it. Guy or girl, we're hiring for maids. Hmm. Fanboy maids? <laughs> this shop's name is so absurd. Hmm, this is so weird. I tried planting a peanut butter cup, but I haven't seen any butter cups sprouting at all. What's wrong with this park? They say that I'm able to grow them, but... Pick up your trash. Put your trash away. This isn't a scam, I know what I'm doing. Okay. Uh... I guess the old beanstalk scam? He's reading a book called Dreaming Machines. I remember you. He's reading a book. Oh, well that's interesting. I can go up here. I wasn't able to go up here before though. Interesting. Fading alone? Have no one to talk to? We're here to listen. 355-33-3535. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Going here though. What's this? It's a bouquet. I wonder why this, that's here. But this is the little hill, I guess, where we were stargazing, right? We can just go here. Apparently. Okay. I guess it's just, to, it's just a nod, you know, to the previous loop. That's all. There's some slight changes, you know? This is very endless ape. <laughs> you know, this is very endless ape from Suzumi Hari no Yutsu. If you didn't know, it's the arc of that, like, um... Of that anime where there's like a time loop basically spoilers and what they did for the anime you know because they, i think it's originally a light novel i actually did read the light novel actually yeah. that much of a nerd but um originally in the light novel the endless eight arc for uh suzumiya haru Yutsu or the melancholy of haru suzumiya um it was it was it was more compressed you know it's just like oh there's this time loop and then the main character is like, whoa, wait, wait a minute, we're in a time loop, you know, whatever. And he figures that out, right? And the, the story goes from there. And what they did in the anime, though, I guess, like, was it like season two or something? They, they like, um, they, uh, how do you say? They invested? I don't know if that's the right word. But they committed, like, I don't know, it was, it was like literally eight episodes, but they committed like several episodes to repeating the same story like multiple times because that's what they did. I mean, that's what, what they did with season one. In season one, they did a little meta thing where like they mixed up the episode order for some reason. Also, I got 500 yen. Oh, that's cool. I don't know why they did that, but they mixed up the episode order just to be wacky, I guess, because they're so random XD. Um... And what they did for the season two, they committed like a lot of episodes to the same arc to um, to like hammer in the idea that the characters are stuck in a time loop. So they make the audience go through that time loop multiple times watching the same episode over and over again with mostly the same dialogue and everything. The characters just talk the same way, the same things happen every single time. Um, the only difference is like maybe the camera angles, you know, and then slightly different like you know scenes and for the same thing that happens in the story and you know fans did not like that because it just felt really repetitive and so they try to do something special but like they end up just not being enjoyable as like an anime so like people did not like that i guess especially waiting for like season two of like a really big anime like the melancholy of Haruhi suzumi was kind of big back in the day i feel like or at least very popular at the time and just like any kind of seasonal anime i guess um, and like, you know, people do not like that, I guess. Anyway, what am I talking about? I got like, I, I went on a tangent again. So I forgot what I was even talking about, but like, like the reason why I even talking about in the same. But you know, it's basically what this game kind of is. Yeah, like, like gameplay wise, you know, it's kind of like what this game is kind of is right now. Where like, um, 
you're going through a loop again. A lot of it's very repetitive. Same things happen and everything, but, uh, you know, I see some new things. I'll talk to you. I don't know who you are. Man, just look at the old shipping here. What of you? You see, I'm a journalist. So my job to check out all the hot spots. With no uh, ocean this pretty, you have to go swimming in it every day. What? You have to swim. It's such a waste if you don't. If it were me, I'd be swimming all day long. Hmm. Now that's interesting. Okay, now you get a choice. Okay, you're not forced to go to the Jack of all trades this time. That's kind of cool. Alright. What do you say? Guess what? I just thought of something awesome. Raw mushrooms are 90% water and people are 60% water. You know what this means? 150% of humans are raw mushrooms. Hmm. Is that how it works? Is that... I don't know if you did the math for that correctly. So, is that awesome? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good. A little too excited there, buddy. What's up? Damn it. They don't have the limited own time only Megamo omelette rice here. All this store has is ice cream popsicles. Don't tell me it's like this in the winter, too. Mm, I'm assuming not. I don't know. Local listing. Ah! This is important too, actually. I wanna- Now I want this one, because I want to get as many info points as I can, so I should probably save up my- My money. I get all the money. I have to get all of the money. Oh. Uh, now then. It's time to virtually win over these weeaboo's hearts! That's so creepy. Okay, is that- I remember, that's, uh... Yeah, that's the the dad and the son. Uh, no, it's not. Guys use female avatars all the time. It's genius. Are you stupid? Oh, I think oh, that was a mistranslation, I feel like, or I don't know. I think it's the son saying that, not the old man. You know, saying, it's, uh, that's so stupid. Whatever. Okay. All right. So we got a few, a few points. Let's look at the sub stories. What do we unlock? We got episode one and episode two. Let's check it out. Dried squid's so good, the longer you chew them, the more you can taste them. By the way, why have you been reading Katsuraki-san? It's worth seeing you with a book. I do other things beside game, you know. It's called Melancholy. It's a horror novel. Oh yeah, I've heard that one before. What is it about? Well, there's this robot that was made at this illegal research institute and talks to the researchers like a normal human. Then at the end, it kills everyone and becomes free. Basically like a machine rebellion type deal. You know you just spoiled the ending, right? Wow. Can't even imagine what it would be like if robots started killing humans. That's kind of scary. They have movies of that stuff too. With the three laws of robotics, robots taking over mankind, there's a lot of them. Take cyber ghosts, for instance. Do you know what they are? Cyber ghosts? Are they a type of monster? So, there are these computers with different types of AI installed into them. Then something weird happens and they turn into something else. Part of the robot's AI starts to malfunctioning because of some catalyst that absorbs other types of AI and gets even smarter. Finally, they start to gain self-conscientiousness or self-conscientiousness? <laughs> like a human, and turn into some kind of ghost in cyberspace. And none of it is real though, just an urban legend. You know, it's just, don't worry about it, it's just fake, it's not, a, it's not real. We, have, we totally haven't met like a cyber ghost, you know, in the game already. Now you stupid or something, there's no way that would ever happen. Everyone knows that AIs would never rebel against the humans. It's practically impossible. Even though you see it all the time in sci-fi. Why would man-made robots ever come close to be taking over the men that made them? Maybe that's why people like those kind of stories. Since they never happen in real life, there would be nothing to worry about. Besides, the talking cat, but that's an exception. What? Huh? What do you say? Don't worry about it. <laughs> never mind the talking cat. So, which high school do you go to, Katsuraki-san? Uh... Miska University, or Univir? Uh, uh, oh, Miska Univ- uh, Miska High. I don't know, is she, is she like, I don't know, I'm not sure if she's like, um, stumbling over her words, or is it, is it just like a, a place with a university and a high school? I'm not sure, anyway. Uh, Miska High, they have this special engineering course. It's basically a bunch of machine nerds packed in one room. Wow, I'm kinda jealous. It would be nice to know a little bit more how, about how machines work. 
What, any clubs or something? Well, I was debating whether or not I should join one, and in the end, I just didn't. Why is that? Mm, I don't really remember. Maybe it's that I don't like feeling boxed in. True. Going straight home after school is the best. They don't even let you bring games to school. Either. So boring. And so use my office as your own little club room. You know, I'd be more open to the idea if it wasn't when I had clients over. Man, the agency's club advisors go to you for every little thing. What a killjoy. I'm just being the voice of reason here. You really care to scold you that much, though? He's not going to comment on the club advisor joke. I guess the agency is like a club itself. So you know how this place is a detective agency? Maybe double to do uh, more of that kind of thing. Just think, an all-girls detective squad, how awesome would that be? So who do you think owns this agency again? What? Well, you know it's true. No one wants an old man and an all-girls all detective squad. That's not what I was commenting on. There are a lot, a tons of co-ed mystery teams already. You can just look at the library for those. I ah, just imagine. I'm so down to try it. I mean, wasn't there an anime about that? I mean, there was an anime about, like, detective anime girls, you know? Uh, you know, kasaragi san I don't think you'd be such a dreamer. Okay. Cute little CG there. Alright. Okay, it's just a little, just a little side stories involving the detective agency. Just, like, compressed, you know, into, like, one scene, I guess. Uh, let's see. What about episode 2? Um, Umiya. Okay, is that the professor? You know, to be honest, Umiya and Narumi, it's just the same person in my head. It's like the same guy. It's this guy with black hair. It's like, what? It's the same dude. Um, but Umiya is like the professor. Um, so, what do you plan on doing once you graduate from university, sugawara san I'm not sure yet. Just getting to the university was a lot of hard work in itself. I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to make you rush your decision. But maybe I could take over the detective agency. Uh, you mean Mr. Narumi's? You did work there, didn't you? What made you decide that? Well, the answer's not as deep as you probably wanted to be, but my older brother owes a lot to the agency too. I remember hearing him uh, going to the agency once. What was he like? Well, me and my brother are pretty different. He likes to keep his work private. Like the other day, he was sneaking around with Mr. Koroi for some kind of job. He helped you with your high school work, though, didn't he? Yes, his train of thought is amazing. That part of it makes me proud to be his little sister. Now, if only he was a little bit more honest with me. Being secretive isn't necessarily a bad thing, though. Everyone has their secrets. That's right. How about you, Toka-chan? Have you thought about what you want to do after high school? Hmm. I was just thinking about going to the same university as my brother. Well, you're still in middle school. You can give it some more thought once you have a little bit more freedom. If you wanted to, you could even choose to leave this town. <laughs> can you? I don't know. Once I have freedom. Yep. Once you get more freedom. Oh, I know. Why don't you shout us at the university? Now that you mention it, the open house is coming up. It doesn't hurt to think about your future a little earlier. Maybe I should. Yeah, definitely. It'd be so much fun. Hmm. Would that be even possible in the simulation? <laughs> I don't know. Well, there we go. There's a little scene with uh, those two, I guess. Hmm. Cafe Salem. Yeah, they went to Cafe Salem. You know, I thought they went to uh, like a wrong place or something. They had dialogue about like, let's go to Cafe Salem. I heard it's very great. And they're like, yeah, let's go. And then it's just like, where the hell did he take us? What a silly question to ask. We didn't say we were going to a May Cafe. Hmm. Oh, okay. That's what she said. I don't know. I read that wrong. I thought she said, I thought we were going to go to a May Cafe. Because I don't know. I just I just assume anime girls would be like, hey, cool, a May Cafe. But as it turns out, she's like, May Cafe? I didn't know it was a May Cafe. Well, that's what she means. Okay. I totally misunderstood what she said the first time. I don't know. I don't know why I misunderstood that. So like, okay, the idea is that they, they go to a new cafe, as it turns out it's a May cafe, and they're like, what? This is a May cafe? That's the idea anyway. Okay, I'm gonna skip now. Okay. I don't know, that's just, <laughs> that's just one misunderstanding that's cleared up for me, I guess. It's like very small, but like, I was just wondering why they, they I, I thought she, like, I thought everyone wanted to go to the cafe Salem. She's like, why do we go here? And it's like, I was so confused about that. It's just the fact that it was a May cafe, that's all. Wowee, the internet is going wild. Mixed for a great show. 
you only go on and on about how you should treasure those you love when the news get all, gets all depress uh, depressing. Makes me sick. But I guess this is how this world ends with a D. Wahaha. <laughs> yes, let's keep up the flaming people. <laughs> okay, she's a forum troll, I guess. He loves trolling. He loves flaming. You? Hello there. I love how peaceful this town is. This is just between us, but apparently there are a lot of riots happening over the apocalypse rumors. But you seem like a nice kid. You wouldn't do anything like that, right? If so, I have this pepper spray. I'm gonna spray your face. It's been happening a lot lately, but just know that littering's bad, okay? Oh, interesting. But yeah, yeah, we can go in. You know, I was wondering because um, did maybe maybe I misremembered, and maybe they eventually closed the path to this area later. But no, you can still go up here and. Who's this person? Yo, hey there, miss. What? Are you too young to be called miss? Not to me, you aren't. So hey, what do you think your mind is? The brains are just matter. You can explain what they are physically, but no one knows where the voices in our heads come from. It's weird. Me? I'm just a kid. Okay. Alright. Oh, local listings. You can buy that now. Um, sure. I'm gonna buy this, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna buy this. Boop. Over here. I feel like it's been a month since I last gone out. Ugh, man, is it hot. Huh? Is it just me or someone been watching us for a good while? Like, I feel like they're watching over us or something. No, it's probably just me. Maybe I'm reading too many horror novels. Okay. I really can't take the sunlight. Alrighty. So, let's see. I think we unlock some more sub stories. Let's look at episode three. Then you can change it to single jointed mode at this spawn point. If you leave it in multi jointed mode, there'll be a 15 frame lag every time you kill a creature. Excuse me, I totally hit it. Uh, that's what I said. Do you have to do your gaming video at the office? Oh, is she, is she doing a let's play? <laughs> it's it's strange that we don't get to see the interior of the agency. I don't know where outside the building. I guess the developer doesn't want to like animate it, <laughs> but um, it, it's funny. How she, I guess she was doing a let's play. Uh, hmm, is that a client? Uh, sorry to interrupt. I see you so left out the same little knickknacks from last time. Huh? Who even are you? <laughs> you know, I'm too busy gaming with my Xbox like headset microphone. <laughs> Would you like to be- would you happen to be my, uh, friends with my little sister? Friends? Uh, Sugiwara you mean? Yeah, I guess. You know they have the same last name, right? Just use her first name so we don't confuse the two. So you're her older brother. I didn't expect you to look like that. Yes, that's me. What are you playing there? Uh, RTA? Let's see your username, Hayes? Wait, don't tell me you're the same Hayes from the forums. What? It's a perfectly normal name. What's the big deal? Seeing the same name in the forums and now here. That's too much of a coincidence. It has to be you. Wow, I hate this guy. I so want a one view on him. Careful not to get too cocky. It might come back to bite you. Actually, haven't I told you not to bring your game consoles to the office? Uh, maybe you should just box them up and send them to your house with a bill attached. But this is the only place where I can bring them. My parents get so mad at me when I play on my shift. I wish you'd take things more seriously. That includes not gaming when you're working. Need I remind you that we live in the sticks? On a good day, the old guy next door pops, it, uh, pops in, that's it. Maybe you should just cover up my games of phoning screen. That does not solve the problem. Oh, come on. Oh, uh, oh come on, what do you want from me? Well, now then, back to you, Sugoro-san. Why do you stop by the agency? Oh, my little sister wanted me to get her stuff for her. So, can I really not game here? There's not much I can do about cell phones, but the non-portables, please leave them home. Remember, you do not live here. Oh, fine, I know, I know. I should play at home like a good little girl. You given now? So, uh, that's all I needed to do here. I'll be on my way now. Say hi to go out of me. Thanks, I'll pass the message on, on, to, on to me. What? Oh, oh yeah, same last name, <laughs> I got confused. <laughs> Do you even know what her full name is? Yeah, it's Sugawara... Hmm, that's weird. It's not coming to me. You're awful. 
Okay. He's just gaming. I don't know what she's doing. I don't know. She was like, maybe she was just talking to the microphone. I don't know. She, she was explaining something though. You're something about like how like, you know, single jointed and multi jointed attacks and frame data. I don't know. She's like doing commentary on her fighting game or something. <laughs> anyway, that's uh, I guess that was Sugawara's brother. I guess we never actually saw, saw him before. Did you say she had like multiple brothers? Though? Maybe, maybe not. I don't remember. Too many people, too many siblings. Anyway. Let's check out the next up story though. Uh, episode 4. Back to uni tomorrow, huh? There's been a lot of, a lot of work lately, hasn't there? It's nice to visit the countryside every now and then. I appreciate you taking your studies seriously, but getting away from the hustle and bustle of the city can be good for you too. I'm just glad to see that Tolka-chan was doing well. It's a load off my shoulders. I had no idea she was your niece, Professor. What kind of person was her brother? I never actually saw him at school, so I'm a little curious. Yes, let's see. He was a little reserved. I remember him always taking care of the plants. But he was also very kind. I don't think I've ever seen him get angry. You know, for his 10th birthday, I got him this, this, uh, got him this picture book about plants and to him it was the best gift ever. I already brought it everywhere with him. That's so sweet. That's not the only thing, though. He never stand for when people did wrong. He was the type of kid who wanted justice to win out. That's why I don't think he would leave her behind. Or at least, that's what I want to believe. I don't think any older brother wants to leave her, his little sister behind. You know, sugoto san You've been better at behave, too. That's because I remember to calm down. Sorry, I didn't mean to make you embarrassed. Okay. I guess that's the train ride home. That's all. Uh, episode 5. Cat. Jeez, I can't take this rain anymore. So it sucks for you too, huh, Cat? Wait, if Miss Okoto isn't here, then how are you talking? Didn't he tell you my whole talking thing was a secret? Maybe my IQ is real high. Maybe I'm a robot cat that went back in time. You see a lots, lots of videos of talking cats on Migo Migo. Not ever top this one though. I'm not even supposed to exist, you know. Yeah, I guess you're right. I suppose that a cat as amazing as yourself can't even stop the world from ending though, can you? Nah. That was a quick response. I'm a free bird till the end. I don't care about helping on no one else. Cats are like that, you know. That's true. Why does it smell so good all of a sudden? We're having grilled fish for dinner tonight. Get out of here, grilled fish! Give me some! Just a little, a bite! What choice do I have? And you might as well let me read that comic got over there. I had no idea the new Horikake Angel was out. Now you're getting too comfortable. This is my room. Ah, home sweet home. Okay. You know, I didn't recognize her in her casual clothes. You know, she always wears her, her hair in like, uh, pigtails or whatever, right? Twin tails, pigtails, what do you call it? I don't know. Sort of. Is it? Oh, looks like it. At least from the sprite. That's in her like casual clothes. You know, I didn't recognize her. Anyway. You two together. Um, what? Hmm? They look like they're having a fun conversation. I can't hear any of it though. Okay. Well, what are they talking about? I don't know. Uh, let's go here actually. Anyone in here? Yes, there is. Check out the view, and the wind feels so nice. I still can't believe the world's ending. It feels too calm for that to happen. I thought it'd be more like meteorites hitting the earth like BAM! Or angels playing their trumpets. Tough luck for us. Don't worry, I'm fine. Okay. Angels playing trumpets. Isn't that, um... Like judgment or something like that. You know, I'm just reminded of Shin Megami Tensei. <laughs> There's like a specific demon. It's about like a skeleton, you know, blowing a trumpet. It indicates, you know, the uh, the end of the world. You know. Um, There's so much time on your hands when you have no work to do. It's too rural. All you can do is pick up garbage around here. Or yeah, that's, oh, please always say that. You know they assigned you this post because they felt bad for you, right? That's no way to speak to your senpai. That's exactly why I hate humans. Copy is so much better. Don't tell me, are you the reason that Meme-chan got bigger? 
I knew we should have put you on feeding duty. What are you even saying? All guppies are the same anyways. How dare you? Oh, okay. That's what Meme Chan is. Meme Chan is his pet uh, guppy, I guess. Uh, those who can't discern one guppy from another don't deserve the title of police officer. Okay. Also, again, he said humans again. I don't know if that's... I don't know if this literal or not. Maybe he's just being a chunyi bill, you know? You humans. But, like, he's not really special. He's just a human, too. He's just, I don't know. He's just using that word for some reason. Anyway. Kato. Hello, Kato. Hey, little miss. Info, uh, info collecting going okay? Doesn't look like it, but Kuro has been busy helping you out. You want to hear about my days as a god? It all started when I was still a little kitty cat. Oh, this will take about seven hours. You got the time? Uh, you don't? <laughs> okay. Leaving Kuro, you listen to my whole spiel. I don't have time for it. I don't have time for it. Cat. So hot, I'm gonna melt away. I'm not even layering. You, you're like this hero that runs around all day long. Good, good on you. What am I doing? I'm just uh, taking a walk. It's not like I'm skipping class or anything. No, I'm not not doing anything. I'm doing nothing. It's important to take breaks too. Don't overexert yourself, okay? Okay. With the whole apocalypse thing, you think more academic associations will put their two cents on the topic. And to top it all off, my sister still hasn't come home. Ah, uh, it's you. Please don't tell anyone I was procrastinating here. Okay. Even adults need to have some cake every once in a while. Here. Yeah. Hey everyone, thanks a bunch for coming to my stream. <laughs> hey, it's... The dad, you know, is the streamer now. Dad, the voice changer isn't on. Uh, <coughs> <laughs> We're having some technical difficulties right now. Oh, silly me, get it together. Okay, the old man is a VTuber. <laughs> he's he's doing the VTuber thing. Or like, it's it's, it's just a middle-aged man pretending to be an anime girl. Good. You bastard, you've been watching me, haven't you? Out now! Hmm. I feel like, yeah, sometimes you can interact with this door, sometimes you can. It's weird. Anyway, I don't know what that meant, though. Something about being watched? book she's reading has a lot of complicated words packed close together. She's just reading as always. <clears throat> Alright, so we collected some more points. Let's see what else we can look at. Um, have we looked at episode 6 yet? I'm assuming not. Let's see. You seem to be staring into space. Have you spotted a ghost? I was just thinking. Get on my nerves, asshole. No need to get so angry. Here, one premium almond jelly for you. I know you just tried to bait me. I won't be fooled. Oh my. A discerning palate, this one. I must prepare the super deluxe almond jelly at once. You know, lots has been happening ever since Khan and N disappeared. So there's lots to think about. I see even gods are capable of feeling melancholy. You learn something new every day. Please, not that amazing. It reminds me, you know the Omphalus hypothesis, right? <laughs> Omphalus? Indeed. It suggests that the world was created five minutes ago, though we have no means to prove it as true. What reason have you brought it up? Oh, some god I knew was interested in it, is all. It's just everything seems a little too convenient. It's like someone made it up. Like some everything was supposed to already or was that like everything was already supposed to happen. Is that what you believe now? It wouldn't be out of question to accept that everything was a co coincidence, however. A twist of fate, that would be, truly. Hey, that wouldn't be too bad either. Anyways, so what are you up to? I'm cleaning everything in place for our customers. Cleaning? With this big sty? We need to have a little chat about your hoarding problem. See that computer by the entrance? What do you even use that for? Oh, something. I'm not sure what yet, but I'll know one day. Really? You put a spell in your room to make it dirty or what? Put the bookies on and brought it to my attention that the shop looked like a junkyard to her. Would even think Cat the Cat would agree. It upsets you greatly. Show me your face so I can actually see if you're actually crying. You know, you're absolutely nuts. Collecting all them books even if you don't believe in them. No, even my pastimes may for you to be useful in some way. Oh, what do we have here? 
What, is that a name registry or something? This is name. Okay. Cleaning up, but then they found something? I don't know. Probably related to her brother, I guess. Let's look at episode 7. Toko, I need to talk to you. Uh, oh, again, I think it's a, it's a typo. I think it's supposed to be her saying that. Uh, what's up, Tokiwa? What would you do if, and only if, this whole world was a dream? What if we were living in a dream? Why are you asking me that? How would I even know if it was a dream? Let me rephrase that. What would you do if we live in a fake world with no future? No future? Yes, exactly. A world that ends in sadness, no matter what you try to do to change it. And then, let's say you could go to a world where there is a future. What would you do? I, I don't really know. I don't really know what you're talking about. Again, <laughs> it's, it's not supposed to be her brother saying this. I think she's saying that. I mean, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm serious, Toko. I know I might seem crazy, but I need you to answer me. Okay, then. So what would happen if I did go to that world? If you went to the world where there is a future. This one would disappear completely. But your real-life family and friends will be there waiting for you. Keep in mind, though. The door to the real world is going to close really soon. And now is the only time you get to choose what you want to do. I don't really understand any of this, but... All I can say is that I'd be too scared to erase this world. I'm sorry, Toko. I know it's a weird thing to ask. You know, just like that Attack on Titan meme, you know? It's like... You know that meme? There's like, um... What's his face? Uh, Erwin, you know? was talking to, um... Aaron. And he's like... You know, what if this world was fake? And then Aaron's like, huh? You know, and he says like, oh, I'm sorry. That was a weird thing to ask. <laughs> I don't know. Just, that's somehow this been, that's a meme. Um, but at the same time, I'd be lying if I said I didn't want to see the future. I have no idea what the outside world would be like. But if there was a future in the real world, then I want to see with my own eyes. I see. So that's your answer then. Why are you asking me this? Don't worry. You'll forget it about next summer anyways. Alright. I mean, obviously, yeah, that's the scene where the brother is trying to figure out the whole, like, truth behind the world and everything. Hmm. And... Oh, no, I was just, again, I was thinking, like, that's not her real brother, is it, right? I'm trying to wrap my head around the whole simulation thing and everything. But the way I, I understood it is that that brother is just more like an idealized version, you know, of the real brother. And everything here in her simulation is fake. The only real thing is hers, you know, herself. Um, even though there are other test subjects, I don't think they're sharing their, like, dream as far as I know. Anyway. Well, there you go. Alright. Just gonna collect a few more points and we get the last sub story. Also, who are you? I didn't see you before. You, right there. Have you been to a place they call the cafe before? Me, I like to try that item they call a pancake. Every day my mind goes wild over what's hidden underneath that fluffy texture. In my dreams, it could ab be absolutely anything. Nobody can resist this fluffy charm. So, you haven't said a single word to me. Why do you want to talk all of a sudden? I just thought this really was the end, that I could make the time to make meet up for today. Are you talking about the apocalypse? Please don't jinx anything. I was lonely, you know. I know. Okay. Yeah, this is the, there's a whole sister subplot. You know, there's a lot of like, subplots for everything. For all the little like, characters. But like, there was the sisters, you know, who wanted to make up before the end of the world and everything. And they finally made up. Isn't that sweet? Also, who are you? Oh. Would you happen to know Rin? I'm Sugiwara's brother. I heard a lot about you. Rin left something behind, so I'm just here to get it for her. Don't worry, I'm not particularly into maids. Really, Rin and Kodo, you both like the strangest things. Oh no, it was nothing. Good luck. I hope the search for your family goes well. Ah, okay, you're the Sugawara brother. We saw you in the CG, actually, in the sub-story. 
The only person who's been able to complete the jumbo ma uh, matchup parfait challenge is Rin. Okay. It's time to get that you are gacha! Ultra rare! RNG will come through! No, you have to pay the gacha gods when you saw the plural else. Oh? What? Who is this? This isn't the best character. I can't use this. This gacha is absolute trash. Okay, they're just rolling the gacha. Don't worry though, I haven't spent any money yet. I'll pay to win! That means I'll prove them wrong. <laughs> okay, no, not pay to win, uh, prove them wrong. Yes, that's of course. Really? Because I thought that meant pay to win. <laughs> okay, never mind. Amazing. Oh, we meet again. I was the info collection coming along. I hope you find what you're looking for. That's right, the sage is set. Everything rests on the actor's shoulders. I wish you well. I hope we, we can meet again. You probably won't. Oh hey, uh, here's some uh, Murasaki senpai, I didn't notice, they're hanging over here. So personally, I believe in the Reu is emerging theory. <laughs> what? Really? You too? Wait, am I the only one who doesn't know what's going on here? Amako, you're such a weirdo, everyone knows what Reu is up to these days. Or what, uh, what Reu is these days. You can't have the program. Murasaki, Anko's making fun of me. Who cares? You are intended to keep on bouncing up and down. You look like you're part of that ant movie. Okay. Th these girls are just hanging out, I guess. Talking about uh, Ray? How you say Riley? Riley? Which is, I guess, you know, again, Lovecraftian. Fireworks display. Hmm. Who are you? Blank eyed guy. So, be careful not to overwork yourself. Sometimes giving up can save you. You don't plan on doing that, huh? I pity you, but I also envy you just a tiny bit. Huh? <laughs> oh, oh, he's gone. What? What? What happened? Where'd he go? Strange. Oh well. Dad, the voice changer still off. Oh, I've decided. I will start up my old tuber career as a virtual female geezer. Honey. <laughs> but how? I mean, th there are people who do that, actually. Uh, I think I've seen a few examples where, like, it's just dudes, you know? They don't use a voice changer. They don't pretend to be an anime girl. They just have an anime girl avatar, you know? Which, you know I feel like that's pretty normal um, back in the day, you know? At least for me, I feel like... I don't know. I, I guess it depends. I feel like when you're a kid, you're like... When people put, put an anime avatars or whatever, you assume they're the same gender as their avatar, but, like, some people... Just put, you know, like me, I just put like what, what my favorite anime character is as my avatar or whatever, you know. I just put like whatever anime character I like and just put it as an avatar instead. I don't put my, like I don't put me, you know. that My avatar doesn't represent me. It's just like, I just put my favorite anime character on it. You know? I feel like a lot of guys do that. I don't know. <laughs> you know. It's not supposed to represent literally me. It's not literally me for real for real, you know. Hello. Why hello there. Children are so pure. It's lovely. So, what would you do if we were in the afterlife right now? What if both heaven and hell were just like living on earth? Eh, I was just teasing. Please don't take me seriously. It's nice to look over to the outside world sometimes, don't you think? Hmm. I think she's aware, you know? I feel like some characters are just aware. That we're living in a simulation. Oh, no one here. Actually, wait a minute. Wait, what was this? I see something, yeah. It's a message in a bottle. To those who fight monsters, careful you don't turn to monsters yourself. Okay, isn't that just... Nietzsche? Quote, how do you say his name? I forgot to say his name. You know. Nietzsche? 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 You know, the, the quote about like, if you stare into the abyss, the, the abyss stares back or whatever. Something like that. Those who fight monsters. Right? Alright. Okay, so let's uh, check out the last side story, or a sub story, whatever it is. Apparently, we need to view this one in order to unlock something. I'm finally an adult. It was a perfect excuse to get my hair cut. It was getting too long. Today, I got a call from the Research Institute. They said they'd be able to tell me what actually happened to my brother. I know they have no intention to tell me, though. After all, they were the ones behind my brother's death. 
There's only one reason why they would contact me. At this point, I won't have long for this world. They're using me as a test subject for my silence. There's nowhere I can run to now. No family either. Everyone I depended on is gone. They're all taken by the research institute. I couldn't even do anything to stop them. At the very least, what I can do now is to leave this behind. Nearly everyone in the world has gone crazy. And now humans are almost extinct. The researchers leaving the researchers are leaving Japan in his frenzied state so they can flee to Europe. Apparently in Germany, they're, they're tearing down buildings to replace them with research institutes, all so that researchers can be the last ones remaining. These are only kinds of people left in this world, ones who just think about themselves. I wonder though, why did my brother have to die? The research institutes have performed way too many experiments to count, all of them in cold blood. I'm sure they killed him before he could review anything of what he knew. Lately, I've been having these awful headaches, and almost every day I've had these scary dreams. Dreams about the world being destroyed by some evil god, all while I sit by and watch it happen. Evil god or not, my one wish is that those people get what's coming to them. I wanted to be free, but I couldn't escape, much less fight against them. That's why I hope that who's ever reading this can erase me and my brother's sorrows for us. I'm sorry, big brother. You have revealed the last sub-story. Great. <laughs> you know? Just, just an ominous message that said, like, you did it. Alright, I mean, I guess the next thing we need to do is simply go to Kuroi and, you know, I guess we'll see what happens. Alrighty. I finally remembered. I'm... Alright, so this is when she reads the message on the USB. Um, oh yeah, did you want to see, go see the fireworks? What? Come on, the show's about to start. Oh, okay. Interesting. I guess we're going to watch the fireworks this time. And I remember, yeah, that scene is when she runs away crying. But now, we're doing this instead? Suddenly? <laughs> also, the <laughs> the background is uh, duplicated because it's exactly the CG that I use for the background, by the way. It looks weird. Anyway. It seems the fireworks have started. Quite pleasant of a view, wouldn't you say? It's as if we have front row seats to the show. And what's taking you on, Sugawada? The popsicles are pretty much all gone. If you wanted one so bad, all you had to do was ask. Oh, so Kutubuki-san, is this your first time watching the fireworks? I've lived here all my life, but I don't think I've actually watched them like this. They're so pretty. I know you probably had a lot on your mind, so I thought you could use a breath of fresh air. Uh, Sigo, I was too nice for him good. That one seems to be pretty chill, though. Like, is this really the time to be having a fireworks show? When the world might be ending? You don't know that for sure, though. Shouldn't want to take advantage of these opportunities to enjoy themselves while they can. Instead of wallowing in fear for an impeding end, I'd much rather use all my energy appreciating my uh, appreciating life. So, you like the throw is what you're saying? What a risk taker. Time for the last popsicle. Ah, God damn it. Thanks so much, guys. Or what? At first, all I could think about was that my brother would never come back. My mom and dad already gave hope. Or already gave up hope? I don't know. It made me think that I couldn't do anything anything anymore. Alright, I read it. It made me think that I couldn't do anything anymore. I was taking them away from, from me forever. But then, I had all of you guys helping me. With Mr. Naomi, my uncle, even Cat the Cat. You all gave me the courage to push on. Mm, what are you talking about? I didn't do anything. I can't get information like Kodori can, or help people like Sugawara. All I did was run into you at the office. Everything was just a coincidence. Well, that coincidence has meant so much to me. You helped me think over my brother's letter. Because of that, I came across a new discovery. I'll never under underestimate the power of coincidences. We, the world we live in, the entire universe, they're all born from mere coincidences. Whatever may happen, the most important thing is to, 
It is how we choose to respond. Yeah. Well, the fireworks are done already. That was fast. Well then, what do we do now? Do you look at the food stalls and see who can eat the most? How much more can you eat? There's something I need to do first. You two go on ahead. Hmm? No. What was that? Your brother's secret is lying on my computer. What in the world is happening? You're certain you'll be fine. No, I'm not. I have a feeling something weird's going on. You mean to tell me this is where we part ways? I only made it this far because of you guys. I don't want all your hard work to have gone to waste, that's all. Understood. If that is what you wish, then let me see you off. Please, be careful, Kotobuki-san. I'll see you later. Time to enter the other side again. Here we are, once again. I have to hurry. Save the game, I guess. Um, so it's kind of interesting, we got a little extra scene there, I guess. You know, one last time, you know, one last uh, moment to enjoy with, you know, the simulation of our, like, fake friends. <laughs> but I guess now we need to go to where we were before, I guess. You know, we need to talk to that cyber ghost. I'm assuming. Uh, nothing to... Uh, yeah, no folders to collect anymore, I assume, because we already went through everything, right? What happens if we- Oh! What was that? What you say? Don't go any further. Ah, interesting. If I touch you, nothing? Not just- it just says that again, okay. Ah, I almost remembered everything. This world is all a dream. An overnight illusion. I know I've been here before, too. I'm sure of it. Over and over again, I live a fake summer, and now I'm here once again. What was my brother's one true wish? What about mine? Toko? That voice, is that? Tokiwa. Yeah. I made you go through hell, didn't I, Toko? I miss you so much. But how are you here? I thought you're already gone. You're right. I am gone. Back when I wanted to save the actual you, I jumped here, to the other side of the world. But I never made it in time. I just became a bug and disappeared forever. And yet, you still chased after me. Because of that, there was a part of you that would always remember who I was. Right now, whatever's left of my data will be connected for just a bit longer. So you probably don't have a lot of time to talk. Sorry. This world will only ever be a simulation. With the real world being destroyed, it's like a short-term paradise. Me, everyone else, we weren't, giving any, uh, we weren't given any options, but you were. So, did you have fun? If I was ever given a chance to see you again, I promise, I promise myself that I would ask you just one question. You told me to forget about everything and live in happiness. But now, I know what you were really thinking. This world wasn't happiness to you. So then why did you say that? Right, let me explain. I disappeared trying to stop this world. If I let you go through the same thing, you might have died without ever knowing the truth. I'd never be able to forgive myself. When I found out that this world, what this world actually was, it was too late. But at this point, you should know the truth behind the world, behind everything. I was alone, but you're not. I don't think you repeat the same mistakes that I did. That's why I'm not going to try and stop you anymore. I'm sorry for leaving you behind, Toako. No, it's my fault. If only I was stronger then. It's okay. You don't have to be sad anymore. The fact we're able to see each other again right now is all because you never gave up looking for me. 
Can I really be free, though? You made it all the way here, didn't you? Choose what you think will make you happy. That's all I ever wanted for you. I wish I could talk some more, but it doesn't look like I have a lot of time left. You're going already? I'm just a fake. I couldn't even make it to heaven. That's why getting to see you one more time is all I could ever ask for. This must have happened by the grace of God. I just know it. I can't see you off, so let me just say this. Make sure not to leave behind any regrets. Well, I'll see you later. Be safe, Tolka. I hope you find your happiness. Goodbye, Tokiwa. I guess when you're a bunch of ones and zeros, you know, heaven and hell doesn't exist. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but then again, does heaven and hell exist anyway? Right? Uh, I have to hurry. The evil god will wake up any minute now. Oh, there you are. Hello there, Toko. So we meet again. What? I'm curious. Who are, just, who are you talking to just now? Oh, I see. So you haven't forgotten everything then. You know about this fake world, and what's going on in the real one. This was nothing but a dream. Everything that's happened until now has all been in your head. Now after repeating the same thing over and over again, it's finally triggered your memories. It was a long process, but we've made it. So, what do you want the most right now? Uh, uh, Kotoboki san. What? Hmm. Yes, just in time. It's you guys. Wait a second, did you all just run after her? Well, hello there, townspeople. Uh, I think you meet the same demise as her brother. That's what you get for following her here. Was anything even real? Our world's fake. We're fake. It was all just a simulation. We had no future ahead of us. I've just been telling the truth this whole time. I never lie. Nothing good can come out of it. Uh, come out of doing it anyways. But you were gonna trick Kotoboki into killing herself, weren't you? Well, you can go screw yourself because we're not letting that happen. No, that wasn't my intention at all. With any of an imagination like that, you could be a novelist yet. Or you could have been. If only the world had a future to come with it. Kotoboki-san, what do you plan on doing? Are you going to end the world? You're the only person who can, Toako. If you need help, I can turn off the machine for you. What's that even mean? Well, won't we all disappear? And what about our world? Won't that be gone too? No use in worrying about that now. Next summer, you guys are good as dead. So all of you can just relax. You know why? Because nobody is real. And tell me, what is real? What am I supposed to believe? The world is just a dream? Because I can't. Uh, please calm down, Katsuragi-san. Uh, trust me, though, I know where you're coming from. Even if this world was made a minute ago, it's still real to us. And that's what I believe, too. I don't remember anything about this other real world. But you understand that this world can't go on forever, don't you? The real Toko is being forced to live. Sooner or later, her body's gonna give out and die. When that happens, it's lights out for you guys, too. So what are we supposed to do? You said we were in a simulation, right? Does that mean there are researchers who can see us? Oh, don't worry. I made it so they couldn't. In any case, everything rests on her shoulders. I love this world. When I started looking for my brother, who was already gone by then, but everyone still helped me over and over again. It was a safe haven for me. That's exactly why I don't want this world to go on. But why? I'll die if I keep living like this. And if that happened, this world would disappear too. My world would disappear. I could never let someone else destroy it for me. I need to do it myself. But to Bucky san this is the one thing that I have to do. It's what my brother would have wanted too. And what'll happen to the real you? 
After the machine turns off, who knows? She could survive, she could even die. I know that, but I've already made up my mind. And you're sure about this? Whichever decision Kotobuki-san chooses, our fate remains the same. Even if the next summer comes, our current selves still disappear. The only thing that changes is whether summer comes or doesn't. Most important, however, is what Kotobuki-san decides is best for herself. All we're able to do is support her decision. After all, you guys are just part of the simulation. She doesn't need your permission to do anything. This is all happening way too fast. You'll never see us again, will you? The real you might not even survive. Why do you need to put yourself through this much danger? It'll be fine. Whatever happens, happens. Oh dear. Do you think everything's okay? I never thought it would come to this. Should we give them a call? Even if they hung up on us, at least we know they're okay, right? It's fine. Besides, I don't think anyone would want to talk in a situation like this. When you've got the request to look for her brother, I don't think you or anyone was expecting this to happen. Both her parents are already given up, so I was about to ask you, but I guess I didn't even need to. I think she had stumbled into my office the day before you did. Here are my thoughts. After Kutubuki-san fell asleep, I think the one who brought her to the office was Sugawara-san. She hadn't even come on that day, but her wallet was still there. I'm guessing she probably had some errands to do, so she rushed carrying Kutubuki-san and then accidentally dropped it. You know, Sugawara-san was also the one who told me about you. She said you were a very reliable detective. And that because she knows the work is... Or she knows work is the only thing I take seriously. The case this time around, though, was too much for me to handle. A missing person that didn't even exist anymore? No matter where I looked, I would never find him. I've been doing this job for a long time, but never in my career have I seen anything like this. That was strange. <laughs> yeah, the, the audio, you know, looped weirdly. Anyway. Attention all humans. The world is about to end. Where'd that come from? Beats me. I may be a detective, but I'm not a genius. At any rate, now doesn't seem like the time to be having a chat. Still, it's surprisingly calm. I feel a bit of my fear going away. Whatever they found out about Toa chans older brother must have shed some light on the truth behind this world. Ah, <sighs> so pathetic. How could I just let her carry the fate of the world on his shoulders? We never saw her brother. We didn't even do anything to try and save the world. But you know, this might not be so bad for her. She don't always want to be free, that girl. I must not get how girls think. They're just having a phone call as the world ends. Good. Soon, your world will end just as planned. Before that happens, I'll turn off the machine for you. In the meantime, though, I think you can squeeze in some goodbyes. Go on, then. I wouldn't want you to have any regrets. I guess this is goodbye, guys. I'm so sorry. I know I have to erase this world, but I feel horrible about it. But that's not something to feel horrible about. In fact, you're saving the world. For us, there would never be a light at the end of the tunnel. You're liberating us from having to live through that. So please, don't feel sad on our behalf. I was only able to get this far because of you. Thank you so much, Mr. Kuroi. But... How about me? I never did anything for you. There's nothing I could do. Oh, that's right. Before long, before long, we'll be gone too. Of course, even I have my regrets. I really don't want to say goodbye, but... Kotobuki-san. You're the only one who can prove that we actually existed. So please don't forget about us. Where'd you put that line from? If Narmi were here, he'd be like, That isn't like you. I know I'm a lot older than you, but... I can let that line go for this occasion. But the Bucky, you better not forget about us, I swear. You're certainly very animated. I suppose not even the apocalypse can calm you down. This really is the last time I'll ever get to see you guys. Thank you for everything. Well, we should be the ones thanking you. Be safe, Kotobuki-san. However you face reality depends solely on you. Later. And good luck. Uh, or, uh later. Good luck, Kotobuki. Take care of yourself, okay?
and delete it forever. Good night, everyone. Don't worry, Taco. That world in your head has disappeared without a trace. You can rest in peace now. Huh? Your heart stopped, so I thought you died, but guess not. Why are you still alive? Oh, that's right. I remember now. You know what happened? The researchers were so busy trying to stop one evil god from waking up, they didn't notice the existence of another. The very experiments they set up disturbed this evil god's sleep and released its seal. How ironic. It took some time, but after interacting with humans and remembering a wish long forgotten, your consciousness connected with that of an evil god who had the same wish as you. The day, your days of lying in the dark lab room are done. I bet you didn't see that one coming. Well, you were just a puppet this whole time. He always did have the potential to be a host. Remember all the headaches and prophetic dreams? Your instincts told you not to go any further, but you went against them and chose to put an end to your dreams. And now you're here. Is this what people mean when they call it the grace of God? You're one with an evil God now. The world is your oyster. So what do you do? Back when you were dreaming, your wish was to end the world by your own hands. But the one true wish within you still hasn't come true yet. Everyone wished for your freedom. You, them, your brother. Now you can finally have it. Ironic, isn't it? If only the guys from the virtual world knew about this, I'm sure they never would have allowed it to happen. And yet in the real world, they're gone. The researchers already threw them away, just so they'd be the last ones remaining. Those guys are the only people left in this world, but you knew that, didn't you? I don't need to hold anything back from you then. Now, it's time to destroy this useless world. Come on, God. Your wish was to get revenge on mankind and finally be free. It's okay. I'll be here guiding you. Let's go to the free world. Good morning, Taco. Um, okay. See her black hair, by the way. Which, uh, she did, actually, she did imply that there was a line where she said she dyed her hair, so yeah. So it is true that she would have naturally just black hair. Um... It's funny how we're playing like happy music yay we did it congratulations 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 you know and everything but actually um that whole like you know that whole dialogue there kind of implied that she became a vessel for like an evil god now i guess it's a little a little bit contrived but they did mention that you know how like humans could be vessels for evil gods and everything um and I guess that's what happened, you know, she, uh, I guess, had the same wish as an evil god, which is to destroy the last of humanity, and that's, she also had that wish. It was very spiteful, but turns out it aligned, and now she woke up, and now she's gonna kill the rest of the researchers in a very horrible and messy and gory way, I'm assuming, you know? And that's just implied, I guess. I don't know if we, I don't think we see any of that, but like, that's just a very dark ending, I don't know. But hey, she survives though. Isn't that nice? She wakes up in a world with, you know, all all of her family and friends and friends that she never really had. They're all dead. So all she has now is to kill the rest of mankind. That's all. You know? Happy ending, right? <laughs> I don't know. Um, but there you go. Mm. I don't know, just, I mean, it's kind of sad, you know, just sad and then just, it just had like a dark ending. I don't know. Despite all the, like like cheesy anime thing you know where it's like don't forget us you know even if this world is gone we'll always be friends or something like that right but like it <laughs> but like it's just like she just kills everyone what i don't know 
Now, what I'm confused about is whether or not now this evil god. I don't know. I, I'm I'm guessing the evil god that she I guess um, synchronized with is the same evil god they that the uh, humanity was trying to prevent. You know, I think that's what it is, and I think ironically, so much research went into like trying to prevent the the evil gods that they did a lot of like uh, human experiments, you know, and everything. And I think most of the damage was caused by these researchers, ironically. But at the end of the day, they in like a twist, you know, they actually induced the evil god to wake up within, um, within her, you know. So I think that's what happened. Also, there you go. There, there's the, yeah. This the main character and her brother. So I think, yeah, it was supposed to be like an ironic twist where turns out she was the one that awakens. Oh, here you go. So it was a little epilogue, a little stinger, I guess. I've been having these dreams. Dreams about the world being destroyed by some evil god. All while I stood by and watched it happen. that it ah, there you go so bonus thing okay all right uh well, okay okay so i mean yeah the, the the epilogue really was just a prologue you know that's just the same line that she had from the very beginning so i think that what that means is that when she says she was dreaming about the world being destroyed i think it was just her she was doing that as it turns out she was the cthulhu tentacle monster <laughs> you know as she as she was like watching from a distance but like really it's just her doing that uh, but character files have been unlocked in gallery mode. A bonus episode has also been unlocked in memory mode. Hmm. Okay, and self stories can only be viewed in the, in the plus save files. Yeah, do the uh, new game plus. There you go. Um, oh, there's even more CG. Why, why there's even more CG? What do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> What's this? Unlocks after cat's special event? There's more special events that I miss? What the heck? What is this? What is that? This is like extra stuff. Thank you for playing. Uh, what about now? Oh, here you go. Okay, okay. So you can actually... Yeah, alright. So if you have the right item, you can give it to the right people. And I guess we'll see what happens. So I got a premium almond jelly by combining seven almond jellies, I guess. Is that the premium almond jelly that you can only get when you buy seven of the drink ones? What are you, God? Ah, uh, no, that'd be me. And gods do need their offerings. Much appreciated. Let me put a special spell on you that doesn't necessarily have a zero chance of maybe or maybe not making you lucky. Yeah, what? You don't want it? Okay, I get, I get extra info points for that. Good. Amazing. That's your reward. Offer me a thousand of those premium almond jellies and I'll give you my, uh, get my real body back. Leave it to me to restore the people's faith. I mean, that Odin's god is going to be shaking his boots when he sees how strong I am. Not lying. Okay. Great. There you go. Okay. Uh, you know, it's weird. She's already eating matcha like parfait in this cafe, but you can buy it from the convenience store and give her even more. <laughs> what? Sure. Yeah, what is it? You're giving this to me? Oh, match is my absolute favorite. Can't believe you remembered. Thank you so much. I have to let Professor Umea know. Oh yeah, did you want to come to the aquarium with me? I heard uh, Fukaki Aquarium's opening up again. Got two tickets, but everyone I asked is busy. I heard you don't go outside of town much anyways. You know, considering this is a fake world and everything. Uh, I mean, gosh, I don't know. I'm going to edit this for YouTube. <laughs> you know, I, I'm going to show this before or after I get the true ending. Because otherwise there'll be spoilers. Anyway, whatever. <sighs> And I heard you don't go outside of town much anyways. Wouldn't it be too cool to take a little day trip? Oh, you want to know what the best part about the aquarium is? That would have to be the food you get to eat at the Ocean View restaurant. It's so good. And... I can hardly wait. Nom 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 nom. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Alright, of course. And of course, Katsuraki would like some dried squid chips. Oh, what do you want? Can't you see I'm gaming? Oh wait, a snack for me? Well, you must know how much I love these. I'm older than you, but you give me a, a, a present. I feel kind of bad, but thanks. Oh, want to know what it's playing? It's a new Nintendo game, Octoon 2. <sighs> hey, you don't game, do you? 
Wanna try anyway? And give you a copy. Then, you can get mad at us together. There you go. I can't get enough of that squiddy goodness. Alright. She loves squids and she loves playing, I guess, Splatoon. <laughs> that makes sense. You're a squid now. You're a fake person now that exists in someone's head. Anyway. Alright, Narami, do you want coffee bean set? Yes, you do. Yes, you do! Of course you do. Are those coffee beans? You really want to give these to me. Oh, thank you. I'll make sure to get you good use of them. That reminds me. There's supposed to be a snack party at the office. Are you planning on coming? Katsuragi-san and them are talking about how we should get everyone together since the agency's on vacation. Ah, but my goodness. If only that girl was quiet as you are. Anyway, it should be fun. Good for you to think about it. Don't stay out too late now. Alright. There you go. I gave him coffee. Amazing. Alright. Let's read... Character profiles. Okay, so... After uh, being the game, and, you know, going back and giving everyone their special, you know, presents, which involves, like, squid chips and ice cream, <laughs> I guess, um, you see the character profile. So let's, uh, let's see this one first. This one, we get this by default. Let's see. Uh, hello, hello world, character file number one. Toaka Kotoboki, design medical. An easygoing middle schooler, about 20 years old in the real world. Hmm. May seem relaxed in whatever environment she's in, but unknown to all uh, is that she's actually the spawn of a certain great old one. <laughs> really? Okay. Once she sets her mind on something, it does whatever it takes to get it. Or she does whatever it takes to get it, just like her brother. You know? That, that's kind of like the thing. <laughs> you know, it's kind of like her... How do you say? Like, plot device, you know? Um, that she's like searching for her brother. That's kind of like the whole... Um, motivating factor the entire story but the fact that she's a spawn of a great old one okay so i didn't realize i mean i knew i mean the game mentioned in that big exposition involving that uh the other you know cyber god thing or whatever whatever, whatever that thing is um <laughs> it mentioned how like like evil gods or whatever can take over a human vessel right and that thing used to be like that but i didn't realize she was actually um a spawn of, of something like that, you know? How does that work? You know, it was... Like... Like... Did her mom, like... Marry Cthulhu? Or is that... I don't know how that works. Anyway. But apparently she was fated... To maybe be a vessel. You know? So th I guess that makes sense. I don't know if there's any indication of that specifically. But I guess that... Uh, confirms it. You know? And that's how she became this. Wow. My, you know, my ancient great one can't be this cute. And here is character files for uh, Mr. Koroi and Cats. Mr. Koroi is a strange man, wears a Kakuran school uniform, but no one knows where he's from or how old he actually is. He takes positive thinking to a whole new level and for some reason is knowledgeable about everything sacrilege. Apparently goes by Koroi Schwartzwald. Schwartzwald. But that's obviously not his real name. And also Cat. A mysterious cat-like creature who claims to be God, mixed around to every possible nook and cranny, and more often than not, gets baited by almond jelly. Talks in a low voice. <laughs> I kind of did give him a low voice. I say him. Again, I think it's a she, though. I mentioned multiple times that it was a she. So, despite having a low voice, it's actually a girl cat. It is a cat girl. Uh, but here is Katsuragi. And Narumi. Ah, interesting. So Katsuragi was designed by Metoko, which is the developer of the game. But actually, Narumi, Narumi is designed by somebody else. But uh, Katsuragi, the one who cleans around the agency, has a weak spot for dried squid chips. On the surface, she's a troublemaker with a sharp tongue. But despite her cool demeanor, though, she wears her heart on her sleeve and warms up once you get to know her. Okay, she's just assumed that. Right? Complains as uh, she does her job, talks really fast as soon as someone's mentioned uh, games. She's, you know, she's, she's a gamer. She's a streamer, it's actually confirmed that she's like the live streamer gamer girl, you know? Probably has a VTube avatar, I don't know. But uh, Mr. Narumi, a geezer of a detective who takes his work seriously. You know, obviously anyone who's older than like, I don't know, like like, like 18 is just a geezer, I guess. Because apparently everyone's, in, every main character in anime is just teenagers. Um, but it always looks like he's troubled, but is willing to lend a, hand, uh, lend a helping hand one way or another. 
has the biggest sweet tooth and can't handle snakes or headstrong women. Because their heads are very strong. They can headbutt you very hard. Sugawara. Sugawara, oh. Okay, she's designed by Toy, but uh, Umiya is designed by Metako. But uh, Rin Sugawara, a cheerful girl who acts like a ninja? Really? I didn't get that impression to be honest. I mean, she did have the scarf, I guess. I thought that was just a thing she wore. I didn't know she was she was like a ninja. Um, but eats a lot. Her older brother, also is enrolled in liberal arts, is shrouded in mystery. Due to her strong sense of justice, she doesn't show mercy to people who wreak havoc on the town. She's actually uh, also very strong. She can beat you up. Uh, Kyoka Omiya, professor of Japanese history at National K University. Seems carefree at first, but finds himself at the mercy of Hyper Rin. Apparently his favorite food is tempura shrimp, but... But what? <laughs> you know, but what? But what? I don't know. Anyway, and here's this one, which we don't know the name for. It's just triangles, I guess. The mysterious, yes, yeah, cyber ghost. A high-tech ghost who overlooks the citizens' lives 24-7. The details behind their octopus-like eyes and gender is unknown. They're a type that sticks to their word. Communicates with everyone from cyberspace. Very mysterious. Don't know where they come from. Not really explained. Exactly. I guess it's just like a former evil god is the idea. But uh, they do play a bit of a mastermind role actually. You know, They do guide uh, the main character um, through their like loops and everything and eventually I guess the true ending actually guides them to being like the next Cthulhu, you know? She becomes Cthulhu-chan. And like uh, this, you know, person, I guess, um, basically is is like the, the Emperor Palpatine to like Darth Vader, I'm assuming. Something like that. And that's the implication anyway. Very mysterious. All right. So that's a little extra content there. Um, but we're not done yet. There's one more thing we uh, like to do, and that will be the extra episode that outlocks after the true ending. I wonder what it is. I guess we'll see. I've been having these dreams. Dreams of what the world was like before it got destroyed by some evil god. All right. Back to happy times? A fireworks show? Yeah, the local one. It's happening this week by the beach. Sukawara wanted us three to go together. I did say that. The last one was a few years back and I was just thinking it'd be nice to have some... Uh, to make some... Uh, I can't speak. It'd be nice to make some... I don't know why I can't... It'd be nice to make some summer memories. I don't know, the some summer... It, it, it like... It like turned into like a tongue twister in my head for some reason. Anyway, apparently, there, there's going to be food stalls there, too. Can't wait. Sorry, uh, are you down, Kotoboki? Could you make it? Yep, I can go. Oh, what about Mr. Narumi? He's not even here at the office today. Narumi's on a business trip with this Umiya teacher or something. With my uncle? Did they know each other? Probably an adult thing. It's whatever. Well, that's got off topic. Back to the fireworks, though. It's dope they can make it. Okay, then, let's meet up in the front of the station. Okay, so apparently this is Memories of the Real World. So, it's slightly different. But, I guess... They knew each other, you know? Wow, you two are amazing. That's alright, son. Your shooting was on point. Thanks, your darts are pretty nice, too. And the new Nintendo get? So lucky. <laughs> you want a new... Nintendo Switch? That's amazing. That, does, does anyone still say dope? I don't know. Uh, everyone's so talented. I'm so jealous. I don't have any special skills or anything. What they say? Do what you love and the money will follow. Just find something that you like. You don't need to be good at it. Just keep at it and eventually you'll get better. Enough about that. How about you two? You guys look so good. You think? Ah, please. I just found this in the closet. That's it. You know, this is <laughs> ultimate tsundere. <laughs> No need, to be, no need to be shy, Katsuragi-san. Now, what food style should we conquer next? All that moving around is making me hungry. Time for my candied, uh, time for my candied apples, spiral potatoes, and beef skewers. Roast squid, yakisoba, choco bananas, shaved ice, cotton candy, takoyaki. You don't know when to shut up about food, do you? It's infinite stomach, I guess. Oh, why it's you girls. 
miracle for us to have met here, is it not? Oh, it's you guys. Why are you guys dressed up so weird? Who is Gramps calling weird now? I'm right, all right, let's, let's not get the balls out. Is that a talking cat? How's that even work? Wait a minute. Wait, if this is a memory of the real world, then the talking cat was real? <laughs> I thought you would think that would be like a glitch of the Matrix or something, but no, it's, it's a real talking cat. I bet it's a puppet. Corey's probably controlling it. <laughs> How li lively you are. You know, I didn't think I'd find you at the festival, Mr. Kuroi. Well, I never. I am not some recluse who stays behind the shop all year long. On the contrary, a man of my class fits in perfectly at a festival, wouldn't you say? Okay, if you say so. I will admit, though, I came by only to buy some ice cream from an acquaintance of mine. Remember, you still have to get my almond jelly. If you're yours like, you're welcome to tag along. My secret base has an optimal view of the fireworks. Wow, they're so pretty. I can't whistle. <laughs> I don't know. I can't whistle. I don't know how to whistle in real life. If I'm ever grateful the shop is by the sea, it's for this reason alone. I just wish my brother was here to see it. Indeed. Ah uh, oh man, what am I going to do when summer's over? I have to actually start caring about entrance exams. It seems like we're all in our prime. Like I know I sh like I know I should be thinking about my future, but I just can't. I have to start thinking too. What do I want to do in the future? I can't believe my I can't I can't be thinking about my brother all the time. You know I can't have my just Oni Chan fetish all for the rest of my life. <sighs> no, um, as hard as you try not to be pessimistic, some things may be out of your control. Eventually, you learn how to, you learn to leave everything to fate. Wish I could be positive as you. High school goes by so fast. Never did anything in three years gone, just like that. That's not necessarily how I view it. I believe that time in your life is so brilliant for the very reason that it's transient. Yeah. And how about all my regrets? The important thing is to keep in mind is how you react to the hand you're dealt with. Living forever is not all it's cracked up to be. Time's short, but that's, how, that's why it's so precious. Coming from a god who's lived to see a thousand so years, your argument isn't very convincing. So, Kat, are you some kind of mutant or something? That's confidential. They seem to be enjoying themselves. Should we have stopped by and said hi? I think it'd be rude to butt in on their fun. But I have to say, I was surprised you wanted me to look for Kutabuki-san's older brother. Yeah, that's because her parents are already given up, but... I'm glad she's been best with, uh, best? No, she's been blessed with such good friends. Guess I didn't have to do anything. I was really worried when he I find uh, when I found out he went missing. When he went missing, I can't speak today. Anyway, but she seems really happy now. We must enjoy the summer as much as we can. It'll be over before you know it. Now, oh, isn't that ironic? <laughs> because you know. Anyway, it's the whole it's the whole plot of the game, you know, having this summer, you know, not be over. Uh, I've been having these dreams all the time. Morning, same dream again. Oh, 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 never mind. Oh, that was um, that was the uh, the cyber ghosts or whatever. I don't know what we call them cyber ghosts. Uh, morning, same dream again. Oh, sorry, you're not human anymore. You don't need a name. You merged with a great old one and destroyed the whole world. Everything's turned to rubble now. There's no one to hold you down anymore. This stupid race of humans fell to ruin. And it's all because of you. You got rid of every last one of them. Isn't that great? An epic story of tragedy and revenge. Well, let's get out of here. No need to stay in this pointless mound of earth. It's fine. Humans are extinct. You're finally free. What? Why are you crying? Why are there tears coming out of my eyes? Oh, even I don't know the answer to that. But this dream just felt awfully familiar to me. Oh, hmm. Okay, now I feel like it's changed perspective. Now we're like, you know, 
the pokey or whatever. But anyway, but this dream just felt awfully familiar to me. Hmm, okay. I don't know. Uh, that was weird. I'm not sure who was talking at the end there. I felt like it was that, you know, that Cyber goes, but also Kotoboki herself? I don't know. They're talking to each other? I don't know. Anyway. But apparently, there's some bonus illustrations, which is just this. It's like, haha, happy. Happy times. Remember the happy times? And happy times. And wow, look at them being maids. They're working in the maid cafe. Wow, my way. And then suddenly, everyone dies. <laughs> what? I'm assuming this is when she becomes Quithulu. Okay. I guess, you know, you got edgy and tentacles like fly out everywhere and she destroys the freaking world. You know, again, very morbid ending, by the way. Just suddenly a very morbid ending. <laughs> well, like, I guess she destroys the world, you know? That's just how it is. Great. I actually kind of want to see more of that, to be honest. <laughs> I don't know. I want her to, like, see more of her revenge a, li a little bit. A little bit. To be like, you know, like, um, you know, this is like her like talking to the researchers and like, you know, like this is what you get for like killing my brother. I don't know. Anyway, uh, yeah, it says to be continued. I mean, as far as I know, the game is, has not been continued. I don't know if the story should be continued. What else is there to do, right? It's like the world has been destroyed. What do you do after that? You know, go to a different dimension? I don't know. Then it gets just weird. It becomes like Marvel or something, you know, it just gets weird. Like, you know, I feel like when you introduce like multiverses, it tends to be like, then what, what does it all mean? You know, there's no consequences in anything when you can just hop into like a different world. <laughs> you know, I don't know. It depends. It depends how you like, I guess, uh, craft the story, you know, you gotta have some limitations, right? But anyway, um, but yeah, there you go. Again, kind of ends very darkly, I guess, but that's, uh, but that's the game. You know, I, I guess I'll just be like, yeah, that, that I've explored everything. Um, I got the true ending, got the normal endings, I got all the extra dialogue from the characters and everything. Um, I don't know for YouTube if I'll show every single little thing about it for every NPC, but I don't know. I guess we'll see. Depends how annoying it is to edit. <laughs> but at least I'll show the bonus dialogue uh, for the main characters anyway, you know, when you give them gifts. Because um, that allows you to unlock like character profiles. And you know, just like small things like that. But there you go. I think I've explored as much as the gay, or uh, much of the gay? No. <laughs> as much as the, I can explore as much of the game as I can, as thoroughly as I can. And yeah, that's kind of it. There you go. So, I mean, overall, it's kind of like, I mean, yeah, I mean, you already got the gist of the story at this point, but the, just to summarize, I guess, you know, basically she's stuck in this like um, simulation time loop thing, you know, uh, because apparently the real world is ending. And the researchers or the scientists or doctors or whatever, the you know, politicians um, know about that and they're preventing it by using test subjects in order to make these test subjects dream because there's apparently this evil god is trying to destroy the world through people's dreams and therefore they're making a, a, these people dream forever, you know, in an infinite amount of time or at least, you know, near infinite, but maybe not exactly infinite, but as much as they can in order to delay the inevitable uh, before they find some way to like defeat the you know Cthulhu-esque gods or whatever, but obviously they can't because that's how it works. You know that's how it works in HP Lovecraft stories. You can never really win. You can only just simply delay the inevitable. But anyway, uh, that's kind of what they did. But obviously, as they did that, they also affected people's lives. One of those lives includes her, Kotopuki. Her brother died, and he or she herself was turned into a test subject, I guess, and to have all these dreams over and over again about her like. You know, based on her memories, based on her like people she knows, and then she has to go through this infinite summer over and over again until eventually, you know, obviously it starts to break down, it starts glitching, and then she starts to remember, you know, who she is, and even the people that she imagines, you know, or at least the simulation simulating, like her brother, for example, uh, breaks free of their programming, you know, in a very like fantastical way, it's very sci-fi, but like it breaks free of the his programming, and then you know starts to unravel her memories as well and obviously in the true ending um she destroys this world and also regains consciousness and ironically as mentioned already um she transforms herself into the evil god that that everyone was preventing in the first place you know and in a way she's kind of like the villain right I, I can imagine maybe if the game took place in the real world 
Yeah, I guess if the game ever made a sequel, I guess it would be at the same time. You know, it'd be like it, it'd be taking mostly in the in the real world, and maybe you take a, a role of like a researcher, and then in a way, she becomes the villain, right? She's the villain that destroys the whole world. But in a way, it's because she's getting revenge, right? Like because she went through so much. Um, so I do wonder, like I don't know. Uh, it's kind of interesting, like mm, I don't know, like because the personality that we see her, like in here, is like very nice. Right? She's very nice, very like you know typical, just like I don't know, passive anime girl, whatever. But like she really wants revenge on everybody. I don't know. I don't know how much that is influenced by uh, you know the quote unquote evil god, or she's been manipulated to do to feel as such. I don't know, but there is definitely some implication that um, she had darker feelings than what she's showing in most of the game. You know, and I guess that's kind of the whole theme of the game. You know, it is interesting. I kind of like it. Where most of the game, the ni like ninety percent of the game, or 80, 90 percent of the game, is really just. Wholesome, slice of life, fluffy, whatever, right? But there's always this undertone, or how you say, it, like this, this like um, underpin. I don't know what the word is, but you know, there, there's like a like underneath the surface, there's a very like dark story about you know about like her being like experimented on and like um, and people getting killed, and of course the world is ending, right? Is the idea. I guess her memories of like the world ending, about the uh, con no, uh, continental eradication or whatever. I think those memories are true, right? Those are those are like real memories uh, before things got even worse. You know, I think she she got turned into a test subject before she got to see the worst of it. You know, about the apocalypse or whatever. Um, but anyway, but of course, it's not really about that. It's more about her like you know internal struggle whether or not to like destroy this world, right? To live in this safe world. Or to wake up and find, you know, the truth. But of course, the truth just kind of turns her into a monster. So, like, I don't know. There's, there's no like really good ending. There's no happy ending. But like, I don't know. Kind of like that. Um, yeah. I do. I do kind of wish we explored more of her psyche in terms of like her revenge. So it does. It does kind of feel like it came out of left field, though, right? Because most of her, most of the story we see is just kind of like very again, very typical, like, um, you know, just like. Not really like uh, morbid stuff or anything. It's just, uh, it's just her like being nice. But like, you know, I don't know. It just kind of feels like the message is kind of like muddled now. Like, we see her like say goodbye to her like artificial friends or whatever. It's so sad. But then suddenly she wants to like kill people. It's like I don't know. I don't know. I I want to see more of her like, like her, her the whole like revenge thing. You know, I want that to be built up a little bit more. In my opinion, anyway. I don't know. We I feel like we didn't see enough of that. Where like. Her transforming into like a monster, you know, like an actual monster, like freaking like kills the rest of humanity. I feel like that that takes that takes more, you know, than just like than what we saw. I don't know. Again, it felt like there was like supposed to be this wholesome message about her, like you know, remembering her friends, but like, but then she also kills everyone. I don't know. It's like it's, it's such like a, a bit of a mood whiplash, which is kind of the point again, because right, it's supposed to be this contrast between cutesy and like dark, but I don't know. It does feel a little bit too rushed in that sense in my opinion um, again maybe if they ever make a sequel i don't know if they ever will this developer but uh if they ever make a sequel maybe we, we would see more of that you know more of her like spiteful side right that'd, that'd be interesting or right? her transformation to like a villain right i feel like that's almost a story that were they were about to tell right her, her like slow transformation her gradual transformation from like a good person into like an evil person right and i feel like that's kind of like an interesting journey right from the hero to the villain right that's kind of like a trope that's kind of interesting to explore but anyway um but yeah i mean overall though uh, interesting little story um a little bit repetitive obviously but it's kind of the nature of the game so i kind of forgive it but it is a little bit like repetitive because of the whole time loop thing um because you have to basically go through the game like multiple times really to like uh see everything especially the true ending you know the first time you have to go to new game plus and loop everything you know uh, at the very least there's a skip you know feature so you can skip most of the cutscenes so it's not too bad but it is a little bit repetitive but uh, but yeah, it's, it's it's interesting, you know. It's interesting. Um, lots of nice, lots of nice art. You know, the art is very good. I would say um, it's kind of fun how you get to like explore the town and you know get to talk to a lot of the characters. You know, I do say you know if you want to make like a time loop interesting, you got you gotta like uh, you know you, you gotta be presented with fresh content. You know, uh, as you go through the loop, and so it is. It, it does do a bit of that, so that's kind of cool. Um, and obviously, you know, near the end. Of the, your first playthrough, it does 
it, it is a bit of a how do you say a mind fuck <laughs> you know it is a really it's like you know what's going on you know it's like it's really interesting how like um everything is revealed you know it's like, it's like everything's corrupted and you know it is a little like it's like a little bit of horror right i don't know if it's like super scary or anything it's not like scary in the traditional sense but it's pretty cool you know how everything gets really creepy and like it's unnerving you know i, I like that um I do got to say though a little bit too expo- too much exposition near the end of your first playthrough however you know you know that the uh, cyber ghost you know thing person um basically just dumps a lot of exposition on you you know that that felt a little bit too much though i wish it was a little bit more revealed uh throughout the game so that's one thing i i would say i wish it was dulled out a little bit better because it, it is a bit there's a big focus on like just the wholesome like social life scenes and everything which makes sense again because that's what they're going for and then they're gonna punch you in the gut, you know, at the end. But that's that's the idea. But I wish it was a bit more implied what was going on, you know, a little bit more like clues rather, like hints of what was going on a little bit earlier on, because it does feel like a little bit at the end. So like, and 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 here's the answer to everything, you know. You literally ask questions, and they and they give you all the answers, like what's literally what's going on. It's like, I don't know, it's a little bit too much exposition near the end. I wish it was um, a little bit shorter, you know, the exposition, and a little bit more hints were just given. As you play through the game because I, I i do gotta say when you play through the game again a new game plus um again it is repetitive right there, there isn't much else to explore not a lot of foreshadowing to be honest you know there's a few scenes here and there obviously when she like sees her brother and then the game glitches out you know makes sense um otherwise though i didn't see a lot of foreshadowing however a lot of like hints so i, I felt like a second playthrough a third playthrough didn't really reveal much you know it didn't feel as um interesting to go through the game again in my opinion um, I don't know, but that's just me, I guess. But there you go. Um, yeah, I mean, what else is there? To say? Music is good. Yeah, music is like great as well. I don't know where the music came from. It was like custom music or like they're using some kind of like, like you know, third party thing. But it is yeah, good music. Um, yeah. Characters, I would say, I don't know, maybe it's a translation. I mean, translation is not too bad, by the way. Uh, most of the translation and localization is pretty good. I think I, I saw like a few weird word choices and maybe like a couple typos but um mostly it's good actually it's pretty good for like a i don't know for like a japanese game <laughs> in general like i feel like it was pretty good um uh, but I, I guess yeah the characters i was gonna say the characters as well mm, they're okay i wouldn't say i like i fell in love with them because i do feel like again most of the game was like mostly just slice of life though so i get it did felt like a little meandering a little bit not too bad. Again, I would say other games are much more slower than this one in terms of like trying to build up the you know the final twist or whatever. But um, I do I did feel like a little bit like it's a little bit tropey. You know, the anime girls are just anime girls. You know, they're just cute girls doing cute things, and it's fine um, for like a little bit. But they didn't do much with it. You know, it's just at the end they kind of disappear, and it's like oh, don't forget us. You know, that's it. Yeah, I don't know. They didn't do much of the actual like characters. I I do kind of wish. Well, I don't know. I don't know if it, if they needed to do this. But it would have been kind of cool if the characters would have been corrupted, right? That'd be kind of cool if, like, uh, you know, uh, well, um, Katsuragi and like uh, Rin, you know, Sugawara, whatever, you know, they get kind of corrupted by the bugs, you know, as you go on. And it's like, you know, you get to see more of the like darker side. You know, that's kind of wanted to see more, of, right? Right? It's like I felt like they they spent they spent a long time on the happy, fluffy side, but not a lot on the dark side. You know, and, and the game ends really dark. You know, really morbidly. And I feel like because of that, there's a bit of a, a bit of a mood with a whiplash. You know, I kind of felt I wish in a way they would like would have gradually went a little bit more dark near the end. You know, instead of just going at the off the deep end. You know, right? Like that. It, it almost feels like. Um, M. Night Shyamalan, you know, level kind of twist, you know, suddenly everything is horrible, you know, it's like, again, not too bad. I still like it. I still like the tone of this game and what they were trying to do. And I, I would still rate it pretty highly, but I do feel like that. I kind of wish they did more of the dark part, you know, more of the like ex- exploration of her like um, darker psyche rather than just focusing on just the happy parts. But, you know, it's still fine. I think, I, but I think that's what we're trying to do. You know, it reminds me of a lot of other games as well. Um, I feel like I'd be spoilers though, you know, a lot, I feel like these type of games are, are just spoilers if I mention uh, other games that are kind of similar, but I pl- let's, let's just say I played other games that have kind of like a similar kind of story, a similar kind of, uh, uh, um, not story, but setup. Um, how do I, I can't talk. There's a lot of other games out there that have a very similar theme going on, 
you know, where you're trying to you're exploring like a like an imaginary world that's like happy and fake, you know, or happy but fake. But there's like a like a like um there's a darker side to it and everything, right? And then it's revealed at the end, right? And everything. So very similar to a lot of the games I played, and I like that idea. Right? I really like that theme. I don't know something about it. I, I like when you have that contrast. Um, so yeah, so I would say yeah, this one is pretty good too. Um. Anyway, overall, uh, highly recommended. Um, yeah, some really good games using that. Yeah, I mean, I play a lot. I mean, I play a lot of games on the channel. They're basically that. <laughs> but anyway, um, but there you go. I guess that's it for Hello, Hello World. Um, I guess if you're on YouTube, you didn't know I stream these games live on Twitch. So check me out over there if you're interested. I also have other playthroughs on the channel. So you can look for those if you want. Thanks for watching. Until next time, see you then.